I think it's going to be a good season. I'll like watch it and report back everybody. Uh, the last thing I had is we kept teasing it, but Todd Chrisley is Todd Chrisley perhaps maybe not as guilty of the charges that were brought against him or is Todd Chrisley extremely lucky because two huge things happened for the Chrisleys this past week. Talk to me, talk to me. They sold their Nashville home for 5.3 million. Now they owe because, you know, they were found guilty of scheming banks and, you know, not paying their taxes for years. So they owe $17 million. So the 5.3 million is going to towards that, but they were also awarded a $1 million settlement from the state of Georgia this week, marking the end of a civil lawsuit. They filed against Joshua Waits, the former director of special investigations for Georgia's department of revenue. Um, and in October, 2019, the lawsuit, the couple alleged Waits inappropriately shared the Chrisley's confidential tax and other information with Todd Chrisley's estranged daughter, Lindsay, in an effort to induce her to reveal compromising information about her family. According to the complaint, the lawsuit also alleged Waits conducted uh, conduct was specifically intended to, and did in fact cause the Chrisley severe emotional distress, anxiety, and mental anguish. So I don't know, is Todd, is, is that Savannah came out and said, you know, get ready. They're, they're also getting their appeal heard to, to reduce their jail sentences, which I guess is even very rare to even have your appeal being heard. And that's going to happen here in the spring of 2024. I mean, do we believe that the Chrisleys could be perhaps falsely imprisoned? Well, Someone call my good friend, Kim Kardashian. It's not going to be Lala Kent, but <laughs> let's get Miss Kardashian on the case because that is what she does for a living. Uh, she passed the baby ba. Now, let me tell you something. Call Chris Jenner and tell her to stop hanging with Jeff Bezos. Um, now, let me talk to you about, um, is the $1 million also, so there's $6 million here, assuming there's no mortgage on the Wait. damn house. Is I mean, if there's no mortgage, so they're going to pay this back, right? It's going right to pay off the debts. Yes, because just as a reminder, they were found guilty in June of 2022 on federal charges of conspiracy to defraud banks out of more than $30 million in fraudulent loans, as well as several tax crimes. They maintain they're innocent. They are appealing their criminal convictions, which according to uh, Savannah and others, will be heard by a federal appeals court in Atlanta in April. Chrisley is Todd is serving 12 years and Julie Chrisley is serving seven. Could you imagine? Like, listen, we have a woman who is walking amongst us and her first name is Gypsy and her last name is Rose. <laughs> Gypsy Rose is a free woman. So I don't know if you can really compare those two apples to apples, but stranger things have happened. Listen, if there is a gun to my head, I would rather see... The Chrisleys out of jail than Jen Shaw. Oh, wow. Personally. Wow. So I don't know. I mean, I'm not rooting for like, I mean, but I don't know, Sarah. The I, tides, I the tides are, I mean, Savannah, listen, Todd's been claiming, you know, they're putting rats in my food and it's not the rat that scurries that is known as Tam because <laughs> she is in the corner looking for her Swiss cheese. <laughs> Hi. Hotel, honey. Hi, Tam. Uh, honey. Tamra Judge. Yes. The rat that scurries is there, honey. They're all there. They all go there. And the rat that scurries is making good money. She's scurrying. Uh, I don't know. There. She could. She can't afford the Bel Air Hotel, that rat that scurries. Come on now. Don't, let's not give her too much credit. She's got... Uh, I yes. think the rat can, yes, for sure. Sure, but I mean, that she's not hanging out at the Bel Air Hotel. Come on. Wow, it's personal for you. She's now. hanging out. No, I mean, like, she's... Uh, She's the OC. She's not from LA, sweetie. Um, what was I saying? I mean, you know, Kyle Richards is hanging out there. The Nat, Ted, the Tedster hangs I out there. I swear when we were there, they rolled in Jack Nicholson. I okay. Swear. I, I, I think yeah. I think you're probably right. Yes, I do think that was Jack Nicholson. I do too, with an entourage, and he had those famous glasses on. And I thought that is Jack. And I don't know why he's here, but they are moving him with that oxygen tank right into our room. Honey, I don't know what world you have been drinking your <laughs> orange juice because I don't know what world that that has anything to do that they let Jack Nicholson, a legend and an icon oh. of Hollywood, oh. in the Hollywood Hills and Bel Air into the Bel Air Hotel. I don't know how that compares to the rat that scurries. Okay. Meredith Marks belongs at the Bel Air Hotel. 
Um, who else would would just? I guess I'm being a snob. It's not right. I mean, a Marisol. I Patton, believe it's open to the public. I think Marisol it's- Patton. No, she can't go to the Bel Air Hotel. Larsa Pippen can go to the Bel Air Hotel. It's open to the public, but listen, there's a discretionary door. Just because they let you and I in, honey, does not mean they allow everybody at the Bel Air Hotel, darling. Well, um, there was so much good tea. I mean, um. We could go on and on. I, I probably have one more story. Do, is there one Talk more you to me. To cover? Well, you um, know, the other thing that wasn't, we didn't trade prep about is, you know, Cynthia Bailey's ex Pita, you know, has ooh. been arrested for DUI and his restaurant is failing, unfortunately, in Miami. Um, it is not wow. looking good for our friend Peter. I know. Um, I don't know. Do you care about him anymore? I guess, I guess she was good to divorce him. It sounds like poor Peter, um, wasn't he trying Thomas. to help? Uh, who was he trying to help? The professor. Wasn't he trying to help the professor? Isn't the professor lucky she didn't go in business with him? Peter uh, was arrested on Tuesday, 2 p.m. in Cobb County, Georgia. He posed for a mugshot and was released the same day on $3,000 bond. He was cited for driving without a license, not having proof of insurance, failure to maintain the lane, expired no tag, and a violation of traffic control device. A judge, uh, let's see, I thought I said DUI. Yeah, and arrested for DUI. Uh, he now is going to have to submit to random drug and alcohol testing at his own cost and can't possess any firearms. Um, and apparently his restaurant is, he has defaulted on monthly rent payments on the restaurant in Miami. I don't know. So I don't know. Is Peter falling on hard times? Our friend? Yes, yes. Maybe he can call the professor and ask for some help. By the way, you know who's also falling on hard times? I mean, we don't care. Kim and Croy, um, they're still trying to figure out whether to foreclose. They're fighting that foreclosure, girl. But I do feel bad for Peter. He has the DUI. He's going through some tough times. Did you ever have Peter on your show? No. I think, I think we might have tried at one point. We might have tried. We also, you know, who we almost had on the show is Martel Holt, who was dating Sheree Whitfield. He was just arrested for something too, I believe. He's mm-hmm. in uh, Mr. King's world, love and marriage. Um, yes, I think so too. I don't know what it was, but I, I something know. right. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm sorry, I'm Peter's like, fallen on hard no. times. Cynthia, Cynthia sure knows how to pick them. I had Mike Hill on twice. I fucking loved Mike Hill. Really? Time. Mike Loved. Hill. See, that's so funny. I would have thought Peter would have come on come on before Mike Hill. Wow. Mike gave me two great fucking interviews. Everyone should listen, really. He was like just the definition of masculinity and how it's okay for masculine guys to cry. And just Mike got dirty. And I love the emotional chats. It was good. Still married to Cynthia at the time. I mean, then they announced right afterwards he was separating from her. So I guess he wasn't so honest. But are they ever totally (laughs) honest? Are they really honest? You know what I'm saying? I'm loving you and leaving you. Um, Guys, I hope, my dear. I hope everyone enjoyed our chat, Sarah. It's so good. Bye. And we are going to recap Vanderpump and we're still going to do all